Hello, collective. This is going to be a pick a card reading for what's coming in for 2023 for you. And this is going to cover a significant amount of the year. So, what comes out um, may come in an instant. It may come in the near future. It may come within a few weeks, a few months, so on. So, yes, this is what we have. And we have card number one, card number two, and card number three. So, take a moment, take a deep breath. Choose your, your pile and then we will get into the reading. Now, if uh, the, the deck that you choose doesn't resonate, feel free to go to another pile. The uh, uh, other piles may have a more clarifying reading for you. So yeah, you can listen to more than one pile if you choose. But yeah, this is a pick a card. And now, with this reading, um, we're going to take a look at what's coming in for you for love, for career, and for, for pretty much whatever's going on in your life. So this is a general reading, so we're going to cover all the bases. So just know that going in that we're going to cover everything whatever the cards are saying we're going to explain so we're going to let the cards do the talking in this reading okay so make your choice on which deck you would like to choose you can pause the video if you'd like but i'm talking a lot so you probably have a lot of time to choose one <laughs> but yes okay we'll get into it okay this is Renee and welcome to my channel. If you're new, if you're returning, welcome. And this is for pile number one. If you chose pile number one, this reading is for you. And the cards have been predetermined. Well, we've, we've um, shuffled and got the cards off of camera. So if you don't like that, yeah, wrong channel. I'm just going to be blunt, but yeah, so this is what we have for pound number one. We have self-acceptance. So pound number one, I feel like you've been going through some things. You're going into this new year with a lot of hope, a lot of dedication, a lot of putting yourself first um, we also have cut the cords so there may be things that you had to release in 2022 and um, before you're going into this new year I feel like you've decided to put your focus on yourself pile number one you've decided that nothing is more important than you and I really feel that with this self-acceptance and cutting the cords, you feel like if it's not making you feel good, you're letting it go. If it's not good for your heart, good for your soul, goodbye. You know, I'm, I'm done. And I feel like you are going into this new year with the knowing that you are worthy of self-love, of self-acceptance, of whatever it is your heart desires. Now, pound number one, whatever questions you need to ask, the answer is yes. Going into this new year, what questions do you have? The answer is yes. The answer is yes. You are beautiful. You are worthy. You are going to get that new job. You know, you are going to get love this year. The answer is yes. 
whatever your question is. And this question is unique to you. But whatever that question is, the answer is yes. <clears throat> because, power number one, it's up to you. You are the creator of your dreams. You're the creator of your lifestyle. You create whatever it is you, you want to see around you. You are the creator. You have the ability to accept, to follow, you know, to lead. It's all up to you what position you put yourself in. And I believe that's very strong um, for 2023. This may be a whole new concept for you. You may be not used to putting yourself first, to leaving the decisions up to yourself, to leaving, you know, your destiny in your hands. But before the destiny can be evaluated by the universe, you have to put the intention out there. So it all starts with you. Remember that it all starts with you. You are the creator of what you want in your life. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm fighting a cold, so I apologize. That's probably why I'm cranky. Okay. We have the Ten of Pentacles. Wow, 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 wow. Pile number one. We have the Page of Cups. We have the Four of Cups. Lots of cups in this reading so far. We have the Eight of Cups. We have the High Priestess. We have the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Ace of Wands. We have the Four of Pentacles. And we have the Seven of Wands. So, pile number one. You have lots of cups and lots of pentacles. You have definitely some new beginnings here. Um, you're definitely striving for something new. I feel like you're, you're competing. You're competing for something. What are you competing for, pile number one? But I feel like you're in this fight. Is it for a new position at work? Is it for... Um, <clears throat> are you a social media um, influencer? But I feel like you're in competition. Are you in competition for love? Which I hope not. But, I mean, that is a question. You know, but I feel like you're, you're in competition. You're definitely in the fight. You're in it to win it, pal number one. Definitely. And I feel like, you know what, whatever that fight is, it's paying off. The first card that came out for pile number one is the Ten of Pentacles. So, pile number one, your abundance, your wealth, your happiness, your family is all growing. It's growing this year. And I feel like it's growing in a miraculous way. This is my <clears throat> card of the impossible is possible. Because look, that fish is jumping out of the cup. There's, there's no way, you know. It, he's either dreaming or just imagining this fish in his cup. But that's believe the impossible is possible. This also could be new love coming in for you. This could be you going on new destinations, new meeting new people. Creating new connections. Definitely people asking you out this year. I feel like you're you're kind of the one to be around this year, pal number one. You have all the abundance. You have all the wealth and all the happiness. You know, I feel like you're in really good spirits this year. So that's really amazing. Okay. We have the Four of Cups and the Eight of Cups. Okay, as we're going into 2023, 
I feel like you're not wasting any more time. You're not wasting any more energy on things that don't deserve your energy. You're like, I'm done overthinking. I'm ready to pour out these emotions. I'm ready to move on. And I feel like you've found out that while you're moving on, you're actually moving on to something better, something greater, something that gives you more fulfillment, more satisfaction, more contentment. So I feel like, you know, whatever doesn't make you happy or content anymore, you're freely just letting it go. You're not trying to hold on to it. You're giving these things gratitude for serving their purpose and you're moving to new destinations. You're moving to new possibilities. Definitely. I feel like you are, you're not, oh, you're coming into this new year and you're not trying to overthink the situations. You're coming into this new year very relaxed, very hopeful of what the new year will bring and you don't want to bring this extra baggage into the new year with you you want to leave what 2022 had leave that in 2022 so that you can move on to 2023 with high expectations new high vibrations you know ready to manifest whatever it is you want to manifest into your life dream big pile number one because it's all about you it's up to you what you what you think you deserve and what you want in your life it's totally up to you and the universe is letting you know the answer is yes you're worth it you are worthy pile number one <clears throat> And I think this is a beautiful reading. Okay. Now we have the High Priestess. Definitely. The High Priestess. I'm, I'm really glad to see her come out in this reading. Uh, because I feel like, especially with it being under the Ten of Pentacles. I feel like this high priestess, you figured out some kind of secret. Something has been opened up to you. Maybe you followed your intuition. Maybe you followed your gut feeling. And this has all worked out for the best because I feel like she is the reason. Your intuition, your ability to focus on your inner self is the reason why this Ten of Pentacles is coming out in such a very strong way. I feel like this Ten of Pentacles and this High Priestess are kind of interlocked together because I feel like you, you have this inner knowing of what's coming in for you. you. You may also have some kind of ability. You may also use tarot, but I feel like you have an inner knowing on what's coming. And I feel like she, you have such a, a great trust in whatever secrets are going to unfold, whatever mysteries are coming out. This is you truly and genuinely trusting yourself and trusting the situation. And I believe it's working out. It's working out for the best in a very strong way. Because you have the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. So this is a very strong new beginning. You have a new beginning in your finances as well as a new beginning in any creative ideas. This also has to do with work. It can also have to do with passion, family, love. You know, the Pentacles also have to do with your happiness and your love as well. Not just wealth. It also has to do with your good health. So I feel like these aces coming out together are very strong. That tells me that not only will you have abundance in this new year, you'll also have a great career. You'll also have a passionate love, something fiery coming into your life. 
you'll also have good health this year you know so these are very very beautiful cards to come out um, in the reading these are beautiful new beginnings for you this is the beginning of something new and I believe that 2023 is going to be a year like no other definitely a year like no other I feel like this year is going to bring you a lot more stability a lot more focus I feel like the things that you desire are coming through for you this year the you're not only focused on balancing you know your checkbook or balancing your finances I feel like you're in it for the long term you're in it to make these long decisions and I feel like you know if you fell short last year I feel like that's gonna come into balance this year maybe even better maybe even better because like I said with this with this eight of cups you're releasing this and you're moving into something better something greater something more that's going to make you more happier you're moving into your nine of cups situation that's what i feel for you i feel like you are you're letting go of these cups so willingly even though this last cup here may be hard to let go of I feel like, you know, you're just ready. You're just ready and willing and able and you are envisioning the thing that's so much better that's coming in 2023. You can see it. You can see it unfold. I can kind of envision it for you, you know, but I feel like with this seven of wands, I feel like you are, you're competing. You're competing for something that's very big in your life that's going to make some changes. It could be a promotion. It could be something to do with your job. It could be something to do with love. You know, that's always a... Um, that's always a possibility but I feel like I feel like it's more in career than in love I'm just gonna be honest with you um, tell me more about this seven of wands what is this seven of wands tell me more about this seven of wands in this reading the justice okay so you know with the seven of wands you also have the queen of swords okay so with the seven of wands what i'm feeling is that whatever you put into something <clears throat> i feel like you're going to get that back where you feel like you're competing you're actually balanced you've actually got this in the bag you feel like you're competing but you already have karma on your side. You already have the truth. You already have your ability to be totally honest in the situation, to be totally self-sufficient. She's cutting into the areas she needs to find wisdom in. She's finding that wisdom, you know? She's finding her balance. She's acting. She's not just sitting still. She's taking action. She's holding her blade up. So I know that she's, you know, ready to strike. She's ready to move towards something. You know, she's, she's ready to find the truth in whatever situation she's looking at. So yeah, I feel like this Seven of Wands, this Seven of Wands, you may be thinking about it, but I feel like it's already in the bag for you. You already have this because this is karma. This is also Libra energy. So <clears throat> you may be a Libra. Uh, you also may be an air sign. You may be a, a Libra 
Aquarius or Gemini. But yeah, both of these are air. So definitely, definitely strong indication that something big is coming through for you for uh, 2023. Big changes are going to happen. Big changes are coming through. You're getting your karma. Your karma's coming in. This is something that you worked for, that you're finally being recognized. This is finally your win. Where you felt like you were competing, this is your win. And you deserve it. You highly deserve it. With this Queen of Swords energy, you highly deserve this. This is something you worked very hard for. You may have spent hours putting in proposals or you may have spent hours creating websites or creating videos or, or studying something that was going to put you at the top of this competitive ring, you know. <clears throat> but I feel like you've done the work. You've done the work. Now this is your, this is your reward. This is your balance. This is what's coming in for you. The universe definitely wants to create something beautiful in your life. Okay, we have, I am the dreamer of my dream. Definitely, it's all up to you. It is all up to you. And I do whatever it takes to get closer to consciousness. And I feel like you're doing that. I feel like you're taking time meditating, you're taking time setting your intentions, you're manifesting the right things, you're speaking positive vibrations to yourself, you are <clears throat> not letting negativity rule you, you're letting go of any negative things that are in your life, you're letting go of any negative people, you're kind of cl steering clear of them. Okay, let's take a look at love. Now, we did see that love is coming in, but let's take a look. We have emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, let go of, you must let go of resentment. Yeah, so whatever it is in your life, um, Maybe from your past, maybe from things that you've been through. Forgive. Forgive and move forward. Forgive and move forward. Don't hold on to those resentments, those past hurts, those, you know, forgive this person and move on. Not saying that you need to see them again or that you need to let them back into your life, but forgive them for you. I know you hear that all the time, but it's very true. Forgive them for you so that you can move on okay and that's a beautiful card i like that we have transformation your relationship with one another is about to deepen love conquers and transforms all things definitely so if you are already in a relationship i feel like that relationship is just going to deepen it's transforming into something bigger something better something something brand new with this ace of wands energy you're gonna feel new fire new vibrations new you know passion for this person um you're gonna feel a new perspective about love itself it may be that you're thinking about starting a family this year or you may be thinking about expanding your family this year but in one way or another your love is transforming. Okay. Those are beautiful. I like those. Those wings. I feel like that's healing. That's definitely healing. Okay. The past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is available to you. Follow it with faith. Definitely. When you go into this Page of Cups situation, and I'm messing with the cards, it's okay. 
when you go into this page of cups situation this is believe the impossible is possible this is the dreamer this is the um the student he's learning about love he's brand new when it comes to love you know he's just learning new things you may be the page of cups you may be learning new things in love you're learning new ways to love someone you're learning new ways to be loved you know um but i i feel like you're definitely going to have love coming in this year it's going to be very like I said, very passionate. And new love is going to spark. Maybe when you least expect it. Because that's all the dream. That is the impossible dream. Okay, and we have... These cards are so beautiful. I love the way that they're, they're drawn. A message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. Definitely. If this, this could very well be new love, but this is your message. This is your message. You may have a secret admirer. You may be starting out a new relationship. You may be in a relationship, but this person loves you. This person is thinking about you every moment. You know, and I think this is very beautiful energy. Very beautiful energy. If you're not in a love situation right now, this is what it is to come. This is the love that is coming. Okay, let's see. You know what? I feel kind of, hmm. Spirit. Okay, I didn't even ask the question yet, but let's ask the question first. Spirit, when will this new love come for our singles? When will this new love come in? Okay, let's see. We'll take these two cards that came out. We have the Queen of Wands. Yes, I'm going to go with her first because she's the one that popped out after I asked the question. The Queen of Wands. I feel like this is going to come at a moment when you least expect it. And I know you probably hear that a lot. But this person is going to come in and the, the Wands is very fast movement. So this is going to come in in the near future. This is going to come in very soon. It's not going to come in, you know, six, seven months later. It's going to come in within the next two months at least. Because the fire is very fast. Fire is movement. It's action. It's being assertive. You know, it's motion. So I feel like this love is coming very fast. When this new love comes in, it's going to be the near future. Now, what also wanted to come out was the Seven of Wands. And I feel like pile number one, you kind of have PTSD when it comes to love, I feel. I feel like you're very cautious. You're very skeptical of new love. You're very, you, you want to really feel someone out when they come into your life. You don't want to just take someone for face value. You want to know exactly what they're about. And that's what I'm getting with this Seven of Swords. I feel like you're you're scoping this person out. You're, you may be checking their background. You're, <laughs> you're doing the research, definitely, because you don't trust. You don't trust this person. You, you may be very leery to trusting new love and that's you know I have to tell you pal number one that's that's not really a value that's not really I mean it's good to be cautious but to be negative about a person 
right off. Now, it could be that you're just going with your gut, and I totally understand that. I totally understand that you should follow your intuition if you don't feel right about a person. Definitely. But, let's see, we have the Four of Swords. Yeah, so, yeah, okay. You're having trust issues because of the recovery. Because you're recovering, you're healing. You're still accepting yourself. You're still accepting the person that you are. And I feel like maybe you've cut the cords pretty freshly on a relationship or something that didn't work out. So it's still leaving you really kind of shell-shocked. You may not be ready for love right away, pile number one. You may need to take some time to heal before you jump back into the love scene um, if you're single, if this is something that you've been through. That's for a very few of you, but I feel like, yeah, you may have to take some time to recover, take some time to build yourself back up. Yeah. Yeah, you need to take time to get your power back. Get that amazing power that you have. Maybe an Aries that broke your heart. But I feel like you are you need to regain your power. Very interesting. Power number one. Okay. So, power number one. We have love that's coming through. We have um, work and everything else. We have this fiery new beginning coming through with the um, aces of cups and no, Ace of Pentacles and Ace of Wands. Yes. So, okay, I'm going to go ahead and, you know what, I'm going to get an Angel card and then we'll leave it there. I really like these Angel cards. I would probably do them in every reading if I could because I just really like them. But we're going to end with an Angel card just because. Okay, we have Adriana. I am leading you toward the answer to your prayers. Please listen to and follow the steps I'm communicating through your intuition, thoughts, and dreams. Yeah, so definitely, pile number one, listen to your intuition. Listen to your dreams. Maybe start a dream journal for 2023. Um, that may be very helpful for you to start a dream journal okay but that is what I have for you pile number one and if this resonates with you please like and subscribe hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads and make sure to see your sun moon and rising for more clarity on your situation and happy new year many blessings to you all the abundance to you in 2023. Love and light. Okay, collective. If you chose pile number two, this reading is for you. And if this reading doesn't resonate, make, to, make sure to look on the timestamps and uh, take a look at another reading if this one doesn't resonate. It's okay to take take a look at more than one. Okay, I'm just going to... Okay, pile number two. So we have perform a random act of kindness. So yeah, you may be, well, with us just coming out of the holidays, I'm sure 
that is the, the the month, the time, the place for just random acts of kindness. But I feel like this is someone who is going to give you some kind of help, some kind of act of kindness, some kind of generosity that you may not be expecting. And we have awaken your authentic self. Be true to you. Yeah, so focus on yourself. Don't just focus on other people's needs, pile number two. Focus on your needs. Focus on your desires. Focus on what you need. You know, we have body and soul. The number five may be very significant for you right now. The number five is change. The number five is... moving forward challenges obstacles could be overcoming these obstacles you know and we have endless possibilities the number 38 that may be significant but i feel like power number two endless possibilities are available to you this year but i'm i'm seeing that you need to Focus on your body and soul. This could be you aligning yourself. This could be you bringing yourself back to point. Maybe through meditation, through prayer, through um, just cleansing your body, through some kind of ritual that relaxes and rejuvenates you. Taking care of your body and soul. Even just getting into the shower and letting the, the water just run over your body is rejuvenating it's cleansing it's you know aligning your soul with the universe having running water just pour over you okay so we have we have victim someone feels like a victim in this situation excuse me i'm scratching my nose someone someone feels like a victim this may be your energy or maybe someone else's but someone feels like a victim in the situation and someone needs to accept the circumstances the changes the what whatever is happening someone needs to to accept what really is i feel like someone's someone's not accepting the true value for what it is this could be in a relationship this could be anywhere in your life actually um this could be someone that you're dealing with but i feel like someone's not accepting something but i feel like you are persevering you are standing strong you are pushing through you're not giving up and I feel like that's that's exactly what you need to do. You need to not give up to move forward anyway, despite anything that you're going through. Spirit wants you to move forward in a very strong way. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, stop bumping the camera. Okay, for the tarot, we have the Eight of Wands. So you may receive some kind of communication about some kind of situation that you're waiting for. This communication is going to lead to news that you've been waiting for. This could also be you moving towards something that you kind of put off. I feel like you're moving forward. You're being assertive. You're taking action. And I feel like you're taking action in a very big way because it's moving you forward in a very big way. You have the chariot card. So this, <laughs> this is very strong energy for the new year. This is beautiful because it means that you're taking action and you're making changes that you need to make. You're going on this new journey in a very assertive way. You are taking a look at the possibilities. I, I feel like, you know, you have endless possibilities and I feel like you're acting upon them. You're acting upon these possibilities. 
you know you're making changes you're you're working through any problems that you have you may be physically moving this year you may be moving to a new job to a new house to you know a, a new country but I feel like you're definitely moving in a direction and I feel like you're being led to move that way something is leading you to move that way you have the ten of wands so I feel like you are you're still carrying a lot of priorities you're making I feel like you're making long lists for yourself and that may be setting yourself up a little bit let me tell you pile number two you may be setting yourself up a little bit for failure by making long lists make shorter list shorter goals achieve them goals and move on you know don't carry such a large burden don't set yourself up for failure definitely because you also have the magician so pile number two whatever it is you're moving towards you're manifesting it you're manifesting this beautiful creation that you're thinking of you're bringing some kind of dream some kind of vision into your reality you're working very hard doing it with this ten of wands you're working very hard you're setting your priorities you're making things happen but don't carry so much that you drop things on the way you see what I'm saying don't drop the ball keep moving but don't carry so much to where you're going to lose it set your priorities accordingly you know be able to delegate be able to ask someone for help ask someone for guidance you know you have all the tools all the possibilities you know but we still even we when we have all the tools even we have all the possibilities all the things that we need to create what we want out of life we still need to ask for guidance ask for help when you need it power number two okay and we have the world Wow strong message pound number two very strong message you have the world so you know we have the ten of ones here we have new possibilities and we also have the world now the 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 ten is completion the world is also completion you've completed a cycle you're starting a new cycle you've learned the lessons you've learned the you know you've achieved the goals now I feel like <clears throat> this is something that you're going to achieve within the near future this is something that's going to happen whatever it is that you're manifesting is coming to pass and you're going to have it you're going to achieve it and you're going to move on to something better as well I feel like whatever this is that you're creating, it's already yours. You just don't know it. It's already yours. Yeah, because you have the Empress. You have a lot of fertile energy here. Wow. A lot of fertile energy. She is also a manifester. She can manifest whatever she wants into her life because she's so fertile for creation she's so fertile for these new possibilities and this could also mean that you're fertile this year of course so you could be in, into a mothering uh, mode or a parent um, but she's also very abundant and look she's right underneath the eight of wands that's action that's being assertive so these things that are coming are coming very quickly these things that you are manifesting are coming into fruition very quickly definitely haste they're coming in very quickly you have the the knight of swords whatever it is that's coming in is coming in very quickly 
and the, you see the knot of swords is right underneath the chariot. The knot of swords is, is ushering in something new. It's ushering in new possibilities. This is ushering in a lifestyle change. So somewhere with this chariot, this is going to change your lifestyle. This is moving you in a new direction. This is a lifestyle change. You have a lot of creation and a lot of change in this reading, pile number two. I feel like a lot of changes, a lot of, you're creating a lot of things that are going to create big things in your life. Yeah, you also have the Queen of Swords. Definitely, definitely a lot of possibilities. Definitely possibilities coming on. The ability to be self-sufficient. The ability to, you know, know the truth of a situation. To be strong and capable. You know, she's very thoughtful, very giving. And she knows exactly where she's going. She has that confidence. She knows the truth. You know, she has that confidence and wisdom that's going to take her to this new level. We have the Page of Wands. Wow. Wow, this is, yeah, you have a lot of new in this reading. And the Page of Wands is right underneath the Magician. So I really feel like... You're creating something in your life that maybe you didn't think was possible. Maybe you didn't think that this creative idea, creative thing in your life, this could also be a creation of a passion, something you really love doing um, in your life. But I feel like you're being very successful. You're very successful with this. It's bringing a lot of success, a lot of knowing where you're going. This could be a new project that you're going on. This could also just be someone new coming in your life who is sparking these new ideas it could be someone new coming in a beginning of new ideas new creation new passion but it's very creative energy very free spirited very lusty very tempting Wow, okay, pile number two. We also have the Queen of Cups. So where you thought it was just success and invention <laughs> and manifesting, yes, pile number two, you also have love. And it's coming out in a future position. So I feel like while you're creating all of this, I feel like love is standing by. Love is coming in, but I feel like it's going to show its true intention um, in the near future. It's not coming in right away. Let's see. Um, okay, well, well, we'll see when this is. Spirit... When will love show its face for pound number two? When is love coming in? When will love come in for pound number two? When will love come in for pound number two? The moon. The moon. It'll come in at its desired time divine timing trust your intuition give us a little more information here the seven of wands you know what i think spirit has a sense of humor today because this yeah
Love is going to come in when it's meant to come in. It's going to come in in divine timing. It's going to come in when you are have it's going to come in when your defenses are lowered. So at the moment your defenses may be pretty high from going through this situation here. Your defenses may be high. So spirit is letting you know when your defenses are lowered in divine timing love is going to show up. Yeah, we have the Queen of Cups again on the bottom. So it's definitely coming, but it's coming at its own divine time. We are asking about the collective. So, of course, each of you are going to have your own divine timing when love is going to come through. It's not going to come, in, come through at a specific time for all of you, you know. It's going to come in in your divine time for you. Okay, so let's take a look at these angel cards. Okay, we have Supreme Protection. You are protected. Cords are being cut. Move beyond limitation and trust. Yeah, pile number two. Spirit wants you to trust your intuition. You may have cut these cords for this person that feels like a victim for this situation. You may not want to see this situation through. You may just want to let this situation go. But um, I feel like you're being protected. You've cut the cords. You're moving on in such a huge, miraculous way. And I feel like you're... You, you have your focus. You have your protection in this situation. So you are being protected. Okay, we also have Diana. Focused intention. Think about what you desire. Set your sights high. Expect the best possible outcome. Surround yourself with positivity. Speak positive affirmations to yourself daily. That's going to make a huge difference if you are manifesting something into your life. It's going to make a huge difference. It's going to bring this thing into fruition for you. Um, because you're definitely manifesting. The, the answer is, how quickly are you manifesting? And I feel like you are manifesting quickly. But the, the key is to stay positive. Surround yourself with positive people. Surround yourself with positive affirmations. Speak kind things to yourself. Keep negative words out of your mouth. You know, when you're manifesting something. That's the key to manifestation. Okay, let's see. Visions from the universe, we have true healing occurs when I give myself permission to feel whatever feelings live below the triggers. Yeah, so if you're, if you have those low moments, if you have those moments when you are, you know, really feeling low, take a look at what is making you feel that way. What is pushing you? over that edge um, those are your triggers those are things that you want to really take notice of that you want to make changes to you want to release those triggers to acknowledge them and uh, forgive yourself for the triggers basically because those things are what is weakening your possibilities so you want to really acknowledge your triggers. Okay, when I focus on my inner light, I see the world through the lenses of love. Yeah, so really focus on yourself. Focus on aligning your spirit with the universe. Focus on what will be, now it was. You know? Okay, let's see. We have freedom there is nothing stopping you the path is clear 
if you want it to be. That's exactly it. The path is clear if you want it to be. You don't have to stumble over obstacles or challenges. You can choose to conquer them. Choose to conquer any challenges, any obstacles that come your way. Free yourself from any negative thoughts that you can't do it because you can. friendship nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve wow that's intense let me read that one more time friendship nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and the love life and your love life will dramatically improve. Yes, I think Spirit is letting you know, not only be your partner's lover, but view your partner as a friend. If you can't view your partner as a friend, how much of a lover are they really? You know, how much of a helpmate are they gonna be if you can't lean on them like you would a friend, if you can't communicate with them or, you know, ask them for help. Find friendship in your love and your love will dramatically improve. Beautiful. Okay. Beautiful cards. <clears throat> Romance. Cupid's arrow strikes. Okay, yes it does. We see that here. And last but not least, healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. So, if you are already in a relationship, if you already have that lover, you know, and you're looking for healing, you're being healed. Envision healing for your relationship. Envision it in a powerful way. Because Spirit is letting you know your relationship is being healed. You are surrounded by protective light and energy that is healing your spirit right now. Let's see, we have Oceana. Take action. You're in touch with your truth in this situation and you need to trust your guts and lovingly assert yourself. At the bottom you have Teresa. Time out. You've been so busy taking care of everyone else's needs, but now it's time to stop and take care of yourself. Okay, pile number two. That is what I have for you. If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe, hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And if this reading doesn't resonate with you, make sure to take a look at the other timestamps. The other, uh, another pile may be resonating with you more at this time than another. And of course, you can watch more than one reading. Um, if you want to watch all of them, that's up to you. But yes, you're, you're able to accept, acknowledge, believe in more than one pile so yeah that is what I have for you pile number two many blessings to you Happy. okay if you chose pile number three this reading is for you pile number three okay 
Okay, let's see what we've got. <clears throat> We've got lifting the veil, questioning everything, anything aligned, unaligned must go. So that's releasing things that aren't aligned in your true intentions. And we also have star ancestors, hidden secrets, lost wisdom, look a little deeper. So this is your ancestors. Your ancestors want to help you through any kind of situation that you have. You may want to ask for guidance. You may want to ask your angels for help in a certain situation. You have manifestation. So what are you manifesting right now? I feel like you're manifesting something really great into your life we have vulnerability and freedom so yeah i you know what i'm gonna move this here and i'm gonna move this here because this goes with this lifting the veil questioning everything anything unaligned must go vulnerability and freedom freeing yourself from things that that don't fit in your life this is freedom freedom and vulnerability so you may be very vulnerable at the moment because you're in such a high frequency but you have protection you have angelic protection for your situation so pound number three you are protected and we have temperance definitely protection so definitely you have healing you're going through a very powerful time at the moments where, where you're looking for balance. You're looking for something that's going to bring you harmony. This is you living, excuse me, living your best life. You're caring for yourself. You're, you're feeling worthy of whatever is coming. This is healing. The temperance usually comes after the death card, after we've been through big changes, big transformations, big, you know, things going through our life. And I feel like 2022 may have been that, that death moment, that time of transformation, that time of big change. And now you're recovering, you're going through the healing. Uh, Spirit is letting you know that it's okay. It's okay to move forward. You're moving in the right direction. You're following the healing. You are taking the action and the positive change that you need to in order to get to your desired position. <laughs> Here we go. Yes just what I was feeling with the temperance you have the death card so you are going through a huge transformation a huge change something is moving within you to that's going to change your whole circumstances you may have just went through a tower moment or a death moment but you're still going through it you're, you're healing from one and then moving directly into another. You are changing in a powerful, dramatic way. I feel like you're making a lot of changes in your life. This may be new destinations. You may be changing positions. You may be leaving love. You may be entering into new love. But these are huge, huge lifestyle changes that you're going through at the moment. And I feel like the, these lifestyle changes are taking you to a place where you can gain wisdom and insight, gain clarity on what you need to clarify. You know, go within, find your inner spirit, find those inner answers. Those inner answers um, want to guide you. Your star ancestors want to unfold your hidden secrets, that lost wisdom. They're asking you to look deeper, go into this hermit moment, you know. Go into hermit, hermit mode and focus on the wisdom that you need to gain. That's going to bring you into clarity. 
<laughs> more change. Wow. More change. I feel like pile number three. This year is filled with so much movement, so much change, so many things are coming about for you. And with this Wheel of Fortune coming out, I feel like it's all coming around for your good fortune, for your, your higher good. Look at this. All of Every one of these are major arcana. This is such a strong, strong message. Power number three. You have temperance, the chariot, the death card, the hermit, the wheel of fortune. This is humongous change. This year of 2023 is going to be so dynamic, so life-changing. And I don't have another word to say for it. It's just going to be life-changing. Um... Wow. Very interesting. Okay. Oh, pile number three. We have the five of cups. And I'm just going to lay the rest of them out because I want to know what the cards are. We have the world. We have the seven of wands. We have the four of wands. And we have the six of pentacles. Okay. So, pile number three. I really feel like this is you cutting the cords of things that no longer align with you. The things that no longer align with your spirit. You're freely letting them go because you know that there's something there that's so much better. You've learned that lesson and you're coming into this new cycle. This new world. This new beginning of the way you think things should go you know you're migrating in the into this new time very interesting okay we have the seven of wands so I feel like with the seven of wands I feel like you're protecting yourself, but pile number three, you already have protection. You have angelic protection. You can trust in your angels to protect you. Trust your angels to guide you through whatever situation that you need to be guided through. Because they want to see you through to the end. I feel like you want to defend whatever it is that you're working on. You, you want to stand on whatever it is you believe in. And that's good. But you also are protected. Your angels, your ancestors are guiding you. So it now is a time for you to trust. Trust and be led into your new destination. Because I feel like your new destination is going to be one of happiness. You may be getting married in the near future. You may be getting exactly what it is you deserve. Um you're gaining a lot of balance someone's being very generous to you where you have given in the past someone is returning that gesture they're giving to you someone is giving you time patience understanding you know someone is giving you their life someone is setting the attentions on being a long-term love in such a huge lifestyle because I feel like pile number three this is huge this is huge so I mean this lifestyle is definitely you know something that miracles are made of I'm gonna put it there this is something that miracles are made of. And spirits, I need to know a little bit more clarity on this situation. Spirit, tell me more about this Seven of Wands. Tell me more about this Seven of Wands. What does pile number three think that they need to defend? Um, what are they defending? 
temperance. You're defending yourself. You're, you're defending your harmony. You're defending being balanced. Someone is coming in to shake you up. To, you know, take you off of balance. And you're defending that. You're like, no, I'm not going to be moved. You're not going to move me into losing my patience, losing my temper. I'm, I'm keeping my faith. I'm keeping my balance here. You have the temperance twice. So I definitely feel like you're you're gaining your balance. You have self-control. You're controlling the situation, definitely. Definitely controlling the situation. Beautiful energy, pile number three. You're not gonna, you're not gonna let them move you. You will not be moved. I hear that. What is this Six of Pentacles? Tell me more about the Six of Pentacles, please. Okay. You have the Eight of Swords. You know what? I feel like with the Six of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords, um, yeah, and the Two of Wands, I feel like someone's giving you an opportunity. Someone's making a gesture to you that's moving you into a new place. They may this may be a promotion this may be someone offering you to move around the world and you're holding yourself back you're like no i can't really leave my family i can't really leave this situation i'm not stable at the moment i don't want to go for this opportunity but how number three is this an opportunity of a lifetime is this an opportunity of a lifetime that you're holding yourself back from? Someone wants to give you some kind of generous gesture and you don't want to accept it because you feel like you owe them something in the future. Very interesting, pile number three. Hmm. Let me know if that resonates. It's very interesting. Um, what is this Four of Wands? Tell me more about this Four of Wands. I think this is the last one I'm going to clarify. What is this Four of Wands? When will this happen? Ooh, okay. We have the Ten of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. So the Queen of Wands, she's very fast energy. She's very assertive. She's very go-getting, you know. She makes things happen. And I feel like this Ten of Wands, this Ten of Wands is going to come in the near future. And I do mean near. I believe it's going to come for you quickly. With all these changes that are coming through, this is very life-changing. But it's also going to leave you with a lot of love and a lot of passion. Let me move that. A lot of love and a lot of passion. A lot of abundance. This is going to be life-changing. This is changing your total outlook. How you spend money. How you save money. How you, um, how you get your money. This is abundance. Happiness. Wealth. Legacy. This is everything that you ever want. You have love and wealth. A wealth of love. Very passionate. Very giving. Very caring. This right here, pile number three, is your happier ever after. Definitely. This is your happy ending. Very interesting. 
I want to be able to choose by number three. Okay, let's see what your angels have to say. We have Lady Nada, Heart Awakening. Awaken to acceptance and divine love. Give and receive in balance. Yeah, this is the Six of Pentacles energy, definitely. Giving and receiving love in divine balance. We also have Kuthumi, Cloak of Wisdom. That's this Hermit energy. You already know the answer you seek. Trust what you know. That's the inner knowing. Trusting, following your intuition. Trust what you know. You've gained your wisdom, pile number three. You've fought your battles. You've come out the other side victorious. Now, gain your wisdom. We have Lord Ganesh. And I'm probably saying that correctly, so forgive me, but I'm saying Ganesh. Infinite abundance. Obstacles are being removed. Spiritual supports and connections are increasing. Yes, look at this. Your abundance is increasing. Your good fortune, your good... Um, good things are coming to you. This is going to be a beautiful victorious extravagant year in 2023 okay now lastly let's look at love we have forgiveness stop focusing your energy on past events for life is too precious to waste you create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. So imagine good things. That's very true. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. Say good things to yourself. Speak good things into your life. Speak positive affirmations, positive um, quotations about yourself. You know, speak positivity into your life. Because what you speak into your life matters very greatly. Is that a diamond? That looks kind of like a diamond. <clears throat> okay. Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. Yeah, this is your wisdom of knowing. Your wisdom of knowing, you know what direction to follow because you're following your intuition. You have angelic protection. You're being led by spirits. You know, follow that wisdom. Secret admirer, okay. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. This may be someone that you may not even be aware of. But yes, someone is thinking about you. Pile number three. You have a secret admirer. And we have passion. A magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at the present. Enjoy it. Someone finds you so attractive. I believe that's the secret admirer situation. Someone finds you so attractive. So magnetic. Have you ever felt like you were just drawn to a person? Like they were a magnet and just drawing you into their, their, their life, into their aura. And you just feel them so deeply. I mean, that's magnetic attraction that is powerful it's amazing it really is to feel that 
to be able to feel that magnetic attraction it's like coming to your pole the north your your inner north you know it's like magnetic energy that just draws you in and i feel like it's a one in a lifetime event to where you'll find this person that you are magnetically drawn to you you may be drawn to a person who is your magnetic north you know they are your source your your love your <laughs> your your lifelong partner this magnetic energy is just powerful it's amazing so i really love seeing that for you um pile number three that's just beautiful beautiful energy beautiful energy let's get an angel card let's hear from my angels let's hear from my angels to go ahead and end this reading we have aurora you are flying high right now which may threaten others but don't descend because others will soon become inspired by your example. So yes, you have an inspiring nature about you, pal number three. You have the ability to inspire others. You may be an influencer. You may be someone who speaks to others, someone who inspires someone else's actions. But I feel like this is life changing for you, but th you are inspiring others to be more successful, to be more abundant, to be more loving, more caring, more, you know, just to be more. You also have crystal. Have faith and hope because there is something positive and new on the horizon that you can't yet see. So something is coming. The year 2023 is going to be totally life-changing, totally amazing for you, pile number three. If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. If you feel like another pile would resonate more, feel free to take a look at another pile. Of course, you can take a look at all of them if you want to, but this is your reading number three. Beautiful, beautiful energy coming through here. And have a wonderful, abundant, amazing 2023. Many blessings to you. Love and light. Being abundant, glorious, energetic new year and love and light.